we are about to continue the main story. We'll see how far we can get. If the game freezes once, I'm done. If the game freezes or glitches out once, I'm just done. This town is filled with stories and music. All tied together by the smiles of those who hear them. I find that way of life to be positively inspiring. But the Synthesters seek to disrupt it. They're the missed note in the symphony. The flubbed line in the play. Really? And I won't rest until they've been stopped. No need to get so worked up about it. You can count on my help. <sighs> Look. At that corner. Those are Synthesters. Without a doubt. Let's go. Let's go! I have no shirt on because of bullshit. We fight. Guess what? Fuck this shit. I ain't playing games. <laughs> Take your shirt off, homie. If you please. You thought this was a game? You immediately get wrecked. Wow, I couldn't grab him. Okay. I was literally sitting there trying to grab her. What? I said heal, not put your weapon away, homie. <laughs> bruh, bruh, I'm trying to heal. <laughs> I'm trying to heal. He won't heal. <laughs> like, bruh. Bruh, take out your weapon. Let's go. Come on. Oh, uh, okay. Why did she try to grab me? It wasn't gonna work. You can't block that, apparently. Okay. Those super quick ass overheads. Oh my god, that's not what I wanted to do. Damn it, I'm just waiting for counters. That's all I'm waiting for now. <laughs> Try to mash out of it and he does that super long ass move. Like, oh my god. Thanks, dude. This town is filled. Yep, 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 yep. I yep, won't yep. rest until they've been. <laughs> we fight. I'm good to go. I'm only gonna use the damn over limit when I need to. Like when I need to heal, I'll use it. Let's go. Look at this shit, they don't want to attack. Got it. Look at this shit. That's horrible. <laughs> Computer can easily counter you, but you can't counter them because they don't attack. But as soon as you move, okay. as soon as you fucking move. Look at that. That's not even what I wanted to do. I wanted to grab the girl getting juggled, but he locks onto the next dude. Like, really? Come on. Uh, just get behind here. Got it. Let's go. Let's go. Give me that. What do you think you're doing? Give me your shirt. So cool. Give me your pants. How, he was mid combo dodging stuff. How, the computer can do that, but you can't do that. You know how fucked up that is? And then they already get an advantage because they got like mobs of enemies with them. They got mobs of allies. But they can dodge mid combo, but you can't. You know how dumb that is? Oh, it's completely fair. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, 
go behind here because they can't do nothing about it unless they go through fucking bleachers or benches. There you go. Let's go. Yoink. Wait, they were in- How can they dodge during mid-animation, but I can't? This is some bullshit, yo. This game is a bunch of bullshit. Here we go. One, two. I don't know what, what what are they trying to take off? What do I have? I don't even have a shirt because of the damn game wants to freaking take away my fucking shirt. See, it's selective super armor. It is so random. Selective super armor. You sometimes get it, sometimes you don't. Come on. <laughs> you sometimes get it, and sometimes you don't. Like, unbelievable. Look at that. <laughs> Make up your mind, game, dude. Yup, just put me right next to all the enemies. <laughs> I grab them and they put me in the middle. Like, really? Real talk? Oh my god, that was so slow. You gotta be kidding me, right? Damn. I'm still cool. Let's go. What? I mashed the X button and I gotta grab. Nope. Oh my god. I could have died. Go. Let's do this. Okay. Okay. What? Come on, camera view. Fucking come on. Like seriously. I'm folk I'm locked onto the other chick. Don't show me the other dude. Like come on. <laughs> come on, please. I'm about to just keep grabbing, homie. What you going to do about this command grab? What you going to do about that? You ain't gonna do nothing. Nobody wants to swing. Look at that. As soon as I push a button, they push a button. Oh, is that money? Yep, yeah, that was money. He tripped? Like, bro, this ain't brawl. Stop tripping. <laughs> oh, that camera dude is killing me, dude. Oh! 
Apparently, apparently those aren't pants. Whatever she has on aren't pants. They're fucking stockings. They look like fucking pants, dude. So I can't... I gotta go for a higher, uh... I gotta go for a ribbon. <laughs> she dodged in the mid-air. She dodged while she was getting attacked. Do you know how fucked up that is? The computer can do it, but not you. Oh, I gotta take off her pants. I'll take that! Another level up immediately. Bitch, make a move. Make a fucking move, bitch. What the fuck were you doing? Fucking, these battles take too fucking long. There we go. Is that all? <laughs> Be careful. I'm still sensing a presence. It's not gonna freeze my game, is it? This guy again? <laughs> Found you. I knew if I left enough bait for you, you'd eventually come crawling out from your hole. Zenya Amo. You left me in debt to you when last we met. And I've come here to settle accounts. Debt goes against my principles, you see. I hate to owe money and despise owing favors. But the worst debts of them all are debts of pride. And I can't allow this one to go unpaid. Dude, we have a we have a super bar. We have a super meter wait ready for his ass. Something about this is very wrong. I will repay my debt to you in full. This instant. We have a super bar. I am no longer the Xenia you've come to know. What the hell is wrong with us? I have unlocked my inner power to become super... Nay. Hyper Xenia! Super Nay? <laughs> and Hyper Xenia Hyper? will not allow the likes of you to stand in his way. Okay. Careful. Everything about him is different than it was before. Pathetic ants! Ride in the dirt beneath my magnifying glass and let me watch you burn! Watch how easy this fight be. What? Guess what? GG. GG. If you please, Like, bruh. Oh, uh, it looks like he still has some, uh. He still got some fighting him. Interesting. Look at that. He got bopped ASAP. <laughs> you think you hurt me? I barely even felt a scratch. You're lying. Even the original Synthester can't possibly brush off such massive damage. You worthless scum! Do you still think you can stand up to me? I'll tear you limb from limb! No, he can still move? Die! That's enough! Rin? You think I'd leave something like this? For my big sister to handle? Hey, look, it's her sister like we already predicted. Predictable plot. Out of my 
my way! What do you think you're doing? <laughs> Yo, they be getting smacked hard in this game, dude. They be catching some beatdowns. Why? Why would you cover for us like that? Rin, how could you? How could you stand in the way of our ambitions? <sighs> No, my power is reversing, head burning up. <laughs> What's wrong? You look a bit winded. <laughs> Damn you! I can't fight like this. I demand a rematch. Nah, nah, nah. GG, no re, homie. If garbage like you thinks it can defeat me. Then come to the battle arena and prove it! Nope, no re for you. Consider this my official invitation. And should you turn me down, I'll make sure the innocents of this town take your place in hell. Do you hear me, garbage? This is my royal command! Gigi no re. He got away? Sis, I told you not to get yourself involved any more than you already were. Rin, hang in there. <laughs> will, Matt, will Rin be mad that I saw her panties? <laughs> Did Rin save us? No time for questions now. We need to get her someplace safe. Come on, let's take her back to Mogra. Hey, don't freeze on me. You better be loading. The, the, the moment you freeze is the moment I quit playing this game. She's got some scrapes and bruises, but I don't see any signs of serious injury anywhere. Sleeping. So, Shizuku, you gonna tell us how you know her or what? <sighs> Rin is my younger sister. Right, right, of course. She's your sister. Huh? Wait, hold the phone. She's your sister? Man, don't act like you surprised. That was an oddly delayed reaction. So does that make her a night eater too? You know, I actually called this one. Just wish I'd have said it out loud. It's like the kind of twist you see on TV. You've got the two sisters at odds, both dealing with some major crisis. And then some bad guy comes in, and they both have to fight him. Really? Uh, Pops, you so didn't call this. Don't even pretend. And wipe that whole smirk off your face. I believe Pops, because I called it. <laughs> Two little sister characters in the same group. This could pose a danger to our identities <laughs> and create a rift in the fabric of reality. No, I'm fairly certain that it couldn't. Oh, boy. Six months ago, Rin ran away from home. But she left a note behind. It was roughly 50 pages long, and outlined all her resentment and hatred toward me. It said I no longer had the right to call her sister, and proclaimed that she never wanted to see my face again, among other things. 50 pages isn't a note? That's a freaking light novel! Was it her falling out with you that led her to run away from home? Well... <sighs> I think Rin is waking up! Rin, are you alright? Thank goodness you're awake. I was afraid you might not ever open your eyes again. Why? I tried so hard to keep you from getting involved. I'm sorry, Rin. I only wanted to know how you truly felt. Sis, I... I'm really sorry. I wanted so much to keep you from getting caught up in my fight. So I wrote all those horrible things. I thought that might have been it. You left me that note so I'd stay away. 
That must have been very painful for you. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. No, no, I'm the one who should apologize. That was an awful thing for me to do. I just couldn't live with the thought of placing you in harm's way. So I thought... I thought... <laughs> Sis, I'm so sorry. Please, can you ever forgive me? Of course. It'll take more than 50 pages of hatred to bring me down. 50 pages? I don't know. I'm pretty sure I'd hold that against her if it were me. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> we'll talk more later. For now, you need to get some rest. That's right, you need time to heal. You're welcome to stay here as long as you'd like. You say that like you own the place. I mean, not like I'm going to turn her away or nothing. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, then. I'll take advantage of your hospitality for a while. Um, thank you. So pop idols can be night eaters, too, huh? Truth really is stranger than fiction. I'd say they're equally strange. And equally ordinary. Hmm? Rin, you're <laughs> up and about. Yep. A little R and R is all I needed to get my strength back. I feel totally fine now. Everyone here at Mogra has been really kind to me. So thanks once again. From the bottom of my heart. No no. We don't need to be thanked. It's the least we can do after you've given us so many good times with your lovely music. Oh, well, thanks for that, too. I'm kind of a terrible singer, honestly, but if you enjoy it, that's good enough for me. <laughs> she uses yeah, auto-tune. Like this Rin and the pop idol Rin are two totally different people. Indeed. This Rin is far more courteous. That's because as a pop idol, Rin's what you might call a sundere. A sundere. Hard on the outside, but soft where it counts. Is that how you pronounce that? Outside is right. Seems like all her songs are about the frozen moon staining her heart with madness and other screwy stuff like that. <laughs> That's entirely a stage persona. It's all a carefully rehearsed act. It would have to be. The Rin I know is as gentle and kind as can be. Oh, come on, sis. You're embarrassing me. Uh, all this talk of me being gentle and kind and cute and wise. Wait, why? Uh, I think you added a couple. <laughs> That's why it shocked me so much when you left me that note. Uh, that was an act too. I just didn't want you getting mixed up in my problems. But forget about me for a second. Why on earth, of all people, would you make a boy like this your familiar? Huh? You can only enter into the blood contract once in your entire lifetime. You two are bound by fate now, forever. I mean, you're this elegant young lady, sis. Don't you think you should have chosen someone a little more presentable? What you trying to say, though? Well, excuse me. <laughs> that damn Legend of Zelda reference. <laughs> I got your familiar right here. <laughs> I got your familiar right here, bitch. Wait, let's say, uh... Well, excuse me. No, I, I think we should say this to get points with Rin, right? Oh, that actually makes me rather uncomfortable. I guess that didn't work out. When you say that with such a serious look on your face, I almost feel... guilty. <laughs> Were I to take a familiar, I'd limit myself to sophisticated ladies like my sister, thank you. What? Rin, this young man has come to my aid countless times already. So please try not to say such hurtful things about him. <sighs> Sis, I can't fault you for being kind-hearted. If you want to take pity on some wretched low life, that just shows how compassionate you are. Hey, uh, not to break up this touching display of emotion, but you've got somebody glaring holes through you right now. If she doesn't say something, she might explode. Nana. <clears throat> well, who might you be? Some wretched lowlife's little sister. 
<laughs> Little... sister? I've been listening to your slanderous ramblings. Nobody, and I mean nobody, is allowed to speak ill of Brody but me. Well, look at you, cutest thing ever. Ugh. You're nothing at all like your brother. Could it be that he's only your half-brother or some such? No. We're definitely blood siblings. Oh, well, thank goodness you've got all the good genes. Your adorability is some kind of miracle. This bitch. I'm going to pat your head now. Pat, pat. Yeah. <sighs> Somebody help! I'm... I'm gonna go to sleep now. <laughs> what a charming little lady. Now listen up, Minion. Minion? Sis may have had some nice things to say about you, but don't let it go to your head. Make sure you know your place and act with all appropriate discretion. If you start to get overly familiar with her, you'll be sorry. Are we clear? So much for gentle and kind. Rin, I wonder if you might tell me now why you disappeared, why you ran away. Greetings and salutations to you oh all. Oh boy. What's this I hear about the Freedom Fighters gaining a new member? Uh, Shion Kasugai. At ease, Rin. Or shall I call you Ms. Tokikaze? I have no desire to fight you. Uh, then why did you come here? Rin, calm down. Let's hear what she has to say. Thank you, Shizuku. I know you first came to my company because you were looking for something. And I also know there must be a reason you harbor such misgivings about the company now, yes? It's porno music. There is a reason. It's because of the Synthesters who've been terrorizing Akiba. Every time they show up, I search the area, and I always find Daishi Han's track somewhere nearby. Tracks so deep and obvious, you shouldn't even try to deny them. Daishi Han's involved, and that's crystal clear. And that's why you entered our poster girl contest, I suppose. So, President Shion Kasugai, are you going to stand there and tell me you have no idea what's going on inside your own company? Wherever there are Synthesters, Daishi Han is always close behind them. Hmm. I'm afraid you're only half right, Rin. And the other half is absolutely wrong. Excuse me? The reason I've been playing hooky so much lately is because my company suffered a bit of a coup d'etat, you might say. A coup d'etat? That don't sound good. A particular faction in the office has been fighting to dethrone me. If they take my place, they'll impose their own management paradigm, very different from mine. Officially, they're pursuing research and development for a new medical breakthrough. Well, breakthrough might be putting it too mildly. Supposedly, this new technology can stimulate the human body at the cellular level, accelerating everything from healing time to muscle growth. You don't mean. Hmm. I don't know which one to choose here. My, you catch on quick. Now, if I were to venture a guess, I'd say their efforts have been focused on Synthester's medical treatments. <laughs> Synthesters may be weak to sunlight and prone to violence, but in other ways, they're far superior to the rest of us. Except they operate outside all sense of reason or purpose. To use beings like that for any sort of personal gain is... <sighs> Let's get back to the point. You're admitting Daishihan Pharmaceuticals is connected to the organization. I'm saying it may very well be. Unfortunately, we have no proof. What I can say is that my company has vermin in the walls, and they're constantly scurrying behind my back. Meaning, if Daishi Han is in cahoots with the organization, you're not involved, right? That's what I have been trying to tell you, yes. 
It's a bit of a shame, really. When the Synthesters first came about, I thought I was the first in the company to know anything about them. I never suspected that anyone around me could have been involved, let alone behind it all, if that's what they are. I was so busy looking, I missed the answers right under my nose. Always darkest right by the lamppost, huh? Well, coup d'etat or no, I'm still officially the company president. I'll do what I can to clean house and expose whatever threads bind us to this organization. But Rin, I truly would appreciate your help. I want you to continue investigating Daishihan from the inside, just as you have been. I'd have done that with or without you. And don't think I've taken my eye off you yet, Shion Kasugai. For all we know, you're just here to trick us into letting our guard down. Believe what you will. It is my company, after all. Ultimately, the responsibility does rest with me. Oh, well, thank you. I'll do all I can to reward your faith with the best information I can find. You better. At any rate, I believe I've told you all I know. If I discover anything useful, I'll be sure to contact you again post-haste. Though I may not be CEO for much longer. <sighs> Shion Kasugai. How far can we trust you? Waka chika waka chika waka chika wa. Okay, so Miss Kasugai's looking into the Daishihan stuff, right? So let's get back to the problem we got. Zenya Amo's still waiting for you guys at the battle arena. He warned us that if we didn't face him there, he'd attack the innocent people of Akiba indiscriminately. The Synthesters are already attacking people indiscriminately, though. What kind of a threat is that? I think what he means is there'll be more attacks if you guys don't hurry over to the damned arena. Amo raised his own power during our last battle. He's not going to make this easy. Then we won't go easy on him. False bravado isn't going to help matters. Our enemy is strong and we need to be prepared for that. Hey, listen. You got this guy cornered and, uh, dogs bite when you corner him. Times like this, ain't no such thing as being too careful. Amo could call us out at any moment. We should go. I want to go too, sis. No, you're staying here. You know what I'm gonna do? But, why? Right before we go to fight him, I'm gonna charge up that unison bar, come into that battle with a full unison bar, and just use the unison bar and just bop him ASAP. <laughs> come on, to the battle arena. Can I fast travel? Is the game is the game glitched? Maybe. Fucking bullshit! I couldn't look at that. I couldn't hand in the quest either. So watch this. I did that quest! I did that fucking quest, but they wouldn't let me fucking do anything about it. I had to do that quest twice. You know what? Fuck that. <laughs> Fuck that. I did the quest, but the game wants to freeze and lock everything up? Okay. So what I'm gonna do here, save the game, take a break, and once we come back, we'll be back with more freaking Akiba's trip, then.